editor, Katie Livetti. It is so decided. Resolution 2653 of 2000. During my last visit to Haiti in February, I was encouraged by the nationally led efforts towards recovery. I saw strong efforts to rebuild after the tragic earthquake that struck the southern peninsula in 2021. Efforts to eliminate cholera were yielding results, and there were high hopes that political negotiations would set a new course for stability and sustainable development. But at the end of 2022, Haiti is in a deepening crisis of unprecedented scale and complexity that is cause for serious alarm. November witnessed 280 intentional homicides, the highest record. Equally distressing is the number of abductions for ransom. Reported kidnappings in 2022 have so far exceeded the 1,200 cases, double the number recorded last year, making every week for the average Haitian an ordeal. Sanctions will be most effective as part of a comprehensive approach, one that includes both the ongoing political dialogue and enhanced operational security support to the HNP as outlined in the Secretary General's letter. These three approaches in parallel will be essential to restoring order, public confidence, and the hope that the country's tomorrow can be better. Depuis le vote de la résolution 2653, le 22 octobre dernier, 21 octobre dernier, on constate une reprise timide des activités dans le pays. Cependant, il ne faut pas se méprendre sur cette évolution de la situation. La libération de l'accès au principal terminal pétrolier de Vareux, si elle a soulagé la pression qui s'exerçait sur la population et sur les activités économiques, est loin d'avoir résolu le problème structurel posé par l'action des gangs armés qui continuent à entraver les actions du gouvernement et de la population dans bien des domaines. 